الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد ولی وصحبی وسلم اما بعد احبت فلاح It seems only appropriate that we will read this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And this hadith, it has to do with vum, it has to do with oppression. It's a hadith, hadith al-Qudsi. The hadith of Abi Dhar al-Ghafari and the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fima yarwihi an rabbihi azza wa jal anhu qal Ya ibadi inni haramtu zulma ala nafsi wa ja'altuhu baynakum muharraman فَلَا تُظَالِمُوا يَا عِبَادِي كُلُّكُمْ ضَال إِلَّا مَنْ هَدَيْتُهُ فَأَسْتَحْدُونِي أَهْدِيكُمْ يَا عِبَادِي كُلُّكُمْ جَاعِيٌ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتْعَمْتُهُ فَاسْتَتْعِمْؤُونِي أُتْعِمْكُمْ يَا عِبَادِي كُلُّكُمْ عَارٍ إِلَّا مَنْ كَسَوْتُهُ فَأَسْتَقْسُونِي أَقْسُكُمْ يَا عِبَادِي إِنَّكُمْ تُخْتِئُونَ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ وَأَنَا أَغْفِرُ الظُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا فَاسْتَغْفُرُونِي أغفر لكم يا عبادي إنكم لن تبلغوا ضري ضري فتدروني ولن تبلغوا نفعي فتنفعوني يا عبادي لو أن أولكم وآخركم آخركم وإنسكم وجنكم كانوا على أتقى قلب رجل واحد منكم ما زاد ذلك في ملكي شيئا يا عبادي لو أن أولكم وآخركم وإنسكم وجن وجنكم كان على أفجر قلب رجل واحد منكم ما نقص ذلك من ملكي, ملكي شيئا يا عبادي لو أن أولكم وآخركم وإنسكم وجنكم قاموا في سعيد واحد فسألني فأتيت كل واحد مسألته ما نقص ذلك مما عندي إلا كما ينقص المحيط إذا أدخل البحر يا عبادي إنما هي أعمالكم أحسيها لكم ثم أوفيكم إياها فمن وجد خيرا فليحمد الله ومن وجد غير ذلك فلا يلومن إلا نفسه أحبت في الله In this hadith azim, hadith al-Qudsi, on the authority of Abu Dhar al-Ghafari, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, among that which he related from his Lord, the mighty and majestic, is that he said, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said this, O my servants, indeed I have prohibited injustice, for myself and made it among you prohibited. So be not unjust to one another. 
O my servants, all of you are lost except whom I have guided. So seek guidance from me and I will guide you. O my servants, all of you are hungry except whom I have fed. So ask me for food and I will feed you. O my servants, all of you are naked except whom I have clothed. So ask me for clothing and I will clothe you. O my servants, indeed you err by night and by day and I forgive all sins. So seek forgiveness of me and I will forgive you. O my servants, never will you reach to harm me so you could harm me. And never will you reach to benefit me so you could benefit me. O my servants, if the first of you, the last of you, the human of you, and the jinn of you were all as righteous as the most righteous heart of one man among you, it would not increase my dominion at all. O my servants, if the first of you, the last of you, the humans of you, and the jinn of you were as wicked as the most wicked heart of one man amongst you, it would not decrease my dominion at all. O my servants, if the first of you, the last of you, the humans of you, and the jinn of you were to stand in one place and ask something of me, and I gave each one his request, that would not decrease what I have except like the needle decreases the water when put into the sea. Oh, my servants, <coughs> it is only your deeds I enumerate for you, and then I fully compensate you for them. So whoever finds good, let him praise the law, and whoever finds otherwise should certainly not blame except himself. Narrated, this is in Sahih Muslim. Ahabatifillah, this hadith is azim. And from some of the benefits of this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that we have to gain benefit from, is the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited oppression. And He's prohibited it upon Himself. And of course, he has prohibited it upon us. That oppression, that destroying one, one another, <clears throat> doing things to harm the honor of one another and of whole peoples is muharram. And it is a great evil and a great sin that Allah Azza wa Jal, the one who is the only one worthy of worship, the creator of you and I has prohibited. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so it shows us that Islam gives us a qaida, a rule, a principle, and that is to be just. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself is al-adl. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the muqasiteen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those people who are just. So this is why we have to be just to work towards one another and just to ourselves. Not to even oppress ourselves. And how can we oppress ourselves? The way we oppress ourselves, the fillah is by doing disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, as related by our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the last part of the hadith, he said, O oh my servants, if it is only your deeds I enumerate for you, and then I fully compensate you for them. So whoever finds good, let him praise Allah. And whoever finds otherwise should certainly not blame except himself. So that's how you oppress yourself. Kava tudlum nafsik. How do you oppress yourself? You oppress yourself by being disobedient to Allah Azza wa Jal. Committing sins and harming yourself, oppressing yourself. So it shows us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a haq and the creation has a haq and you have a haq Everyone has rights. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's right is what? Is that we worship Him and Him alone. كَمَا قَالَ نَبِيَنَ مُحَمَدْ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ فِي حَدِيثِ
حديث معاذ قال كنت رديف النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم على حمار I was on a donkey with the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال يا معاذ أتدري ما حق الله على عبادي وما حق العبادي على الله أو معاذ Do you know the right of Allah upon a servant and the right of the servant upon Allah قلت الله ورسوله أعلم He said Allah and his messenger know best He said حق الله على عبادي أن يعبدوه ولا يشركوا بشيء هذا شاهد the Prophet ﷺ said the right of Allah upon his servant is that he worships him and him alone and he associates no partners with him. So if you want to be just with yourself and you want to give everyone their rights and give your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala his right and worship him and him alone. Avoid shirk by all costs. That means knowing what tawheed is and knowing what shirk is, what nullifies it, etc. Another important benefit of this hadith is this hadith also shows us that if we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no one can, can forbid that, forbid the fact that you beg your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive your sins. No matter what you did last night, no matter what you did this morning, no matter what you did yesterday and a week ago and a month ago and a year ago, you can still go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can still ask forgiveness of Him. No matter what, even if the people never forgive you for what you did or what you do or what you're doing. But Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can and will forgive you if you're sincere to Him. So we see that it's imperative that we supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we thank Him for everything, for the air we breathe, for the food that we have, for the clothing that we wear. <clears throat> and that no one can take away from the dominion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his mulk. That is, it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's dominion. And we'll have a rububiyatillah. That's the lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's all, it all belongs to him. But we get so caught up and so distracted in this dunya. And we fail to realize that really this mulk, it all belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that we belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we're going to return back to Allah. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. That from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we came and, from, and to Him we will return. And with that being the case, if we were to know and understand these things, that means actualizing this practice of Tawheed. Knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees everything that we do. That would cause us to avoid sins, especially the major ones. And that would cause us to not oppress one another. We wouldn't see the evil that we witnessed and that we witness all the time. These are not new events for uh, oppressed communities, especially indigenous communities and aboriginal communities and African-American communities or Afro-Caribbean communities. This isn't new for us. The police have been on our necks since the inception of the police. And prior to that, look at how especially Mexicans are being treated and were treated for example, in America we have what is known as the Texas Rangers. And know for sure that they were established based on blood. They were the border control. They were wiping out the indigenous peoples, the African Americans, and the, the Mexicans. All to support white supremacy. That's not pleasing to Allah Azawajal. So know for sure that those people, those evil people, who perpetrate evil, who perpetrated evil, that their reckoning is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It will come back to them. Look at our brothers and sisters in Philistine. The men protecting their children, the women 
nurses getting killed, shot by Shealtin. Human devils. People who behave as if they have no soul. <clears throat> and they behave and oppress because they don't believe in the reckoning. So then therefore they can legitimize dehumanizing another people so that for them out of blood is nothing. It's like dirt. It's just something you step on. And look at how the South Africans were treated under apartheid. And I say South Africans because they're the original peoples. They were black African peoples, the Zulu tribes, the, uh, the, the various tribes there. And how in their own land it was occupied. The battles that they fought to try to defend against those settlers, those oppressive Dutch settlers, colonizers, evil oppressors that still exist, that still oppress and still have a, a, a great, uh, they still own the wealth, still control things there and still oppress and still look down on the people who are originally from that land, whose resources that they are taking and benefiting from. This shows you the danger of how Bani Adam is. The children of Adam, so many of them are oppressive, wicked sinners. And they love to oppress one another. And they love to hate one another. They love to kill one another. And they dehumanize one another when in fact they have a similar origin. That they're all Mindariyati Bani Adam. No matter how racist they, and how many racist theories that they come up with. We ask Allah the Almighty, to raise us up and bless us to be a source of good. And may Allah forgive us of our many sins.